Okay, now we open the control software and we go to uh, test for test uh, print. But before we do test print, we need to check what kind of process of the pallet that we install on the machine. And here we have small, middle, large, and extra larger. The small size, small, small option is used for print the picture on um, uh, 25 times 25 centimeter. The medium is for uh, the pallet with the size by uh, 30 times 40 centimeter. And the large is for 40 times 50 centimeter. And the extra large is for 40 times 60 centimeter. So we use the current, the right pallet that, that we install on the machine and we choose the same size as the pallet. And then we need to set the X margin and Y margin for print the position. And also, if you choose the medium small size like this, you need to click on the center, the center of option. If you click off this option, this option is not used, not working. So we need to click on this to make this this option working. And then we set X margin, Y margin. And also, if we also if we want print the not check for white and color print ink to see the white and color print had print status. We need to open the white ink option, open it, and then we go to test print, text, and has status to check the nozzle status. Okay, up below the ink, we can see the, the all the color channels are coming out. Totally, it's uh, eight channels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can see just like a little bit ink not coming out. So we can we get 99% ink coming out for uh, after we load the ink. So if you cannot get a good result as this, you need to do the head cleaning again to be sure you get the good white ink print head coming out. If you cannot get a good white ink print head nozzle status, you cannot get a good waste, good white ink density for print on dark t-shirt, so that's very important. So after we uh, do the nozzle check for white print head, we need to do a nozzle check for the color print head. So we just uh, need to put a white paper on the surface of the table. And we find a paper like this to put on the surface of the table and just be sure that the paper is not bending to scratch print head. And so we need to, we can load it a little bit. Like this, to be sure it's not bending. And also you can use the tape to stick, to stick on the surface of the table. Like this. Because we cannot see the color print head status the colors on here, so we need to do the color, uh, we need to print the color status on the white paper to see the CMYK color if it is, the ink is coming out or not. And also we need to adjust the, the up, the thickness between the, the uh, print head surface because the white ink, sen the up limit sensor is from here and here. So we need to move the table up down to adjust the, adjust the flat bit up and down. And first, we need to move the carriage out of home position. And we're moving up the table. The gap between the print head and the meter is two to three millimeter. Okay, after that, we're just doing this. Uh, Another check for the what uh, for the color print head. Load the paper. 
and we go to what software choose has status. Okay, we can see all the KCMY, and magenta, black, KCMY, and KCMY all are coming out. So if we can get the good result like this, uh, we can start to print. So this is another check for uh, for color printing head. And here we can see a little bit uh, magenta ink coming to yellow. Here and this, if you, uh, this is because the, we first tend to load ink for color print head, so we need to do a small cleaning again, and we can get better. Uh, but now it's okay. You can start to print for these results for 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 color. Just be sure all the nozzles are printed out. K C M Y and Y M C K like this. Then you can start to print a picture and do the next next or do the next step for calibration.